Testing Google Analytics in real time is very easy. First, download the Google Chrome browser, open up the website that you want to test, as well as Google Analytics and a few other tools that we're going to install. The first tool, which is free on the Google Chrome Web Store, is Tag Assistant. If you search in Google within Google Chrome for Tag Assistant by Google, you can download this Chrome extension. Also, you'll need Google Analytics Debugger Chrome extension, and this is very important, also free, as well as the Google Analytics URL Builder Chrome extension. Once downloaded, you'll notice these in the top right side of your browser window. Next, if you go to your website that you'd like to test and copy the URL, in this case it's taginspector.com. To use these Chrome extensions, first click on the one that looks like a little shopping cart, which will pop down this menu. If you paste in your URL that you want to test, you can then modify the source, medium, and campaign so we can isolate your visit in Google Analytics. And I'll show you what that means here in a minute. So if we put the source, medium, and campaign as any test parameter, in this case we're going to say InfoTrust test, you can copy the tagged URL now into your clipboard. Once you copy that into your clipboard, you can paste it into your URL bar up here and go to the site. The campaign parameters must stay on the URL. Now you can check Tag Assistant and you'll see the different Google Analytics accounts that are firing with some information about that. More importantly, make sure that GA Debugger Chrome extension is turned on. So you might have to click it a couple times and the page will refresh to ensure this Chrome extension is turned on. Now to actually see if the Google Analytics data is being passed into Google Analytics while you're on this site. To do this, if you click on the settings option here, scroll down to tools and developer tools, it'll open up your developer tools in the Chrome web browser. Make sure you toggle to the console option here on the far right. And if you have installed GA Debugger Chrome extension properly and it's on, you will see some data here in the console. This data is passed into Google Analytics about your particular session. So in this example, you'll notice that the UA number or Google Analytics ID that's capturing this information is shown here. And there's other information about your particular visit, such as the title of the page you're on, your screen resolution, any custom data that's being tracked, etc. This is the first step to testing Google Analytics in real time. Once you have the GA Debugger Chrome extension downloaded in your web browser and you open up the console, simply hitting refresh on the page will send this data here. And I will demonstrate that now. So you notice the console was empty, I hit refresh, and now this information is displayed here in the console. The UA number capturing the data, as well as what data is actually passed. Furthermore, you can check Google Analytics real-time reports to see your session occurring in real time. The reason we put these UTM parameters up here using this URL Builder Chrome extension is to isolate yourself in the Google Analytics real-time reports. So going over to Google Analytics and opening up the real-time reports with the property that's associated with this website, you can now go under Traffic Sources and search for your specific visit. So if you remember, the parameter you used for Source, Medium, and Campaign is what you type in here in the filter search. This will ensure that you are only looking at your specific session as you click around the site. So now if I go back to the website and click on a new page, in this case the blog, even though the URL change to just the blog page, the session should be preserved here in Google Analytics and you should see your visit in real time. So under the content, you can see now the page that is active is plans and pricing with this medium and this source set to InfoTrust test that I set before.